Hi, this is Sean Chua from A Level H2 Chemistry.com. Welcome back. Now, in the previous video, we discussed about free radical substitution of the alkenes to form halogenyl alkenes. We talked about the two problems that we face when we want to do halogenation, especially when we do monochlorination or monobromination. Now, the two problems, if you still remember, the first one is on multi substitution, which we can solve or control by using limited amount of the halogens or using excess amount of the alkenes. It's the second problem, the second factors that we need to be more aware of, which is the position of the halogens. I call it the positional issues. Now, let's take a look with a question to see how this is being tested in the exam. The question goes like this. Predict the different monochlorinated products from the free radical substitution of 2-methylbutane with chlorine in the presence of UV light and state the ratio in which they are formed. First, we need to have the full structural formula of 2-methylbutane out so that you can clearly see what are the different hydrogen atoms that could be replaced by the chlorine atom. So this is 2-methylbutane. All right. Now, when we do monochlorination, you're going to have different compounds that we form, which we're going to call it isomers. So let's take a look. Um, if this hydrogen atom is being replaced, substituted by chlorine atom, I hope you agree with me that the chlorine atom will also be able to substitute this hydrogen atom and this, and these three hydrogen atoms they are all the same, all right? So, for this one, we will then call it 1-chloro-2-methylbutane. And I'm going to draw the structure. Let's use the symbol so that it's clearer for you. So this one will be circle. And what we have over here will be this. 1, 2, 3, 4, Cl. And this will be CH3. All right. Now, there's something I want you to be aware. Let's say the hydrogen atom that was being replaced is this one, or this one, or this one. All right. If you take a look closely, it is the same as the one that we mentioned earlier on. We go still going to get one chloro two methyl butane. So they are actually all the same. So these six positions are all the same. So you have six chance to form this compound. So the ratio I'm going to write over here will be 6. Now I'm going to use different uh, so-called symbols and show you the different isomers they are formed. All right, so I'm going to use a triangle for this. So if I use a triangle, the product will look like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. The metal is still here. The chloro is here. The chlorine. All right, so this we'll call it 2 chloro, 2 metal, bu. All right, and the ratio it can be formed. There's only one triangle as you can see. So that is one. All right. So let's move to the next hydrogen atoms. Okay. So next, I'm going to use a square. So we're going to have a square like this. All right, and square the product that I will have is this CH3. It's a third carbon from your left. So the chlorine will be here. This will then call it 2 chloro 3 methyl butane. The name is different from them. It's obviously a different compound. They are isomers. So the ratio will be 1, 2. So the ratio over here is 2. We work on the last one. This one, um, running out of symbol, let's use uh, a heart shape. So this will be the same as this, will be the same as this. If you substitute it with one chlorine atom, and this will be a heart shape. And the product that we'll get is one, two, three, four. Metal is still there, and our chlorine is here. So for this last one, we'll then call it one chloro. 2, 3, so it's 1 chloro, 3 methyl, butane, which is obviously again a different compound. Now, so there are 1, 2, 3 heart shape. 
So the ratio over here will be 3. So once again, there are four different monochlorinated products that you can get from the free radical substitution of 2 methyl butane. And the ratio will be in the order of 6, 1, 2, 3. And you can see the structure is here. This free radical substitution, a very important uh, so called reaction mechanism for alkenes. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a great deal from it. Feel free to share this with your friends, and I look forward to seeing you back in the next video. Thank you.